my name is Gift, but you can also call me Gifty Love. Welcome back to my channel. This is hopefully going to be a really quick video because I wanted to talk about anti-maskers, especially with all like the protests that are happening with people and thinking that it's infringing on their civil liber liberties. I really want to just come on here and quickly just say a few things and some of my thoughts on it. Uh, first of all, wear a mask. Just do it, do babes. It. I'm telling you, wear it. Just wear the mask. It's not hard. In London, I think they're being too lenient when it comes to masks. They're letting people just, like, I think, like, there's not enough being done in London to really protect people. I think they're very lenient about people walking in the store without masks, not really asking anything, or even just there's no temperature tests before you go into shops. So there's just so you're not telling people to wear, you're not forcing people to wear masks, neither are you doing a temperature test. So, really, how what protection are you offering? Because I think they think, oh, the more people that wear masks, the better. It's like, yes, but we all need to be wearing masks, it needs to be the majority of people wearing masks, not just. Well, as this is some, no, most needs to be wearing it. The minority should be the actual minority of people that have conditions that stop them from wearing the mask. That's the only people that shouldn't be wearing a mask. It's just really that simple. Um, so I don't think London's doing enough. I don't know what other countries are doing, but I know there's certain countries that haven't had that many cases and their rules seem to be tighter. So I'm not trying to say anything, but I am trying to say something. Um, also, people that feel that it's infringing on their civil liberties. Look, if you go into a private enterprise, a business retail store, it is their rules go. If they say that they want horses riding around in their store, it's their rules. If they say wear a mask before you come to my store, don't start acting, especially in America, don't start acting up and shouting and ruining everyone's day and throwing things around, saying civil liberties, this civil liberties, that. Wear the mask, don't come into the store. Also, it just makes me laugh because I'm like, you literally have the choice of home delivery. You don't have to leave your house. If you don't want to wear a mask, don't leave your house. I have days where I don't wear a mask. I don't leave my house. It's really that simple. You have the option of home delivery, and yet you've chose to leave your house, get in your car, get to a store, not wear a mask, and then someone politely asks you, please put on a mask, you're shouting at them. And it's not even like they're like, if you don't have a mask, you have to go home. A lot of these places are offering like um the the one use or like short-term masks that you can wear in the store. Even some places say just wrap a scarf around your face, just something, and people are still fighting. Like, I don't understand why people fight fit. Like, why are you fighting? Why are you fighting? Don't fight each other! Do you want to die? Is that the long and short of it? Do you just want... Do you, are you done with life? You just want to absolutely live life on the edge and do whatever and just see what happens with life? If that's your prerogative and you're just like, fuck it, live past that young that, that's your own prerogative but you can't do that when you're actually putting other people's lives in danger if you want to like screw screw down the road in your vehicle that's probably putting, like people's lives people's lives in danger too but that's not what i'm trying to say i'm trying to say like if you want to do your own dangerous nonsense over there do your dangerous nonsense over there but don't do stuff that's going to endanger the lives of other people innocent people that didn't choose to be around your stinky breath and and your and your your sneezing and coughing and things like that so you know just just be considerate i think one of the things capitalism and the way society has has not trained but like indoc indoctrinated a lot of people thinking individualism is, individualism is the way to go and that's why a lot of people think poverty is down to individual person not working hard enough when they don't know there's systems in place that that perpetuate poverty but there's a lot of people that think individualism individualism is the way to go and that meritocracy is really the way to really the way to survive in this survive in this world it's not just luck and also privilege and all these types of things and so i think the biggest lie that capitalism tells us society tells us that individualism is the only way to be and the, the best way to go forward and that's why I think in this pandemic we've really seen the damage that that has done to people because as a human species, collectivism and working together as a community is literally what sets us apart, it's what's helped us survive this long. So for us to now think, no, we're all individuals, each for their own, um, the, fit, the survival of the fittest in the sense of like I am my own person I only look after me I only look out for me I only look out for my wants and needs is a so so selfish and goes against what essentially makes us human and it really makes no sense to me because I spend a lot of time trying to hear the upside of the story and understand people are coming from when it comes to masks and not wearing masks and I think the thing that I'm understanding from them is that so, so one of the arguments is that it's not very comfortable you know what I think if I was to jog in a mask I don't think I'd be very comfortable like actually doing like physical physically straining activities like if I was panics or like, if I have an anxiety attack or if I was like trying to run or go on a bike I don't think I'd want to do that with a mask I think because that, that's just activity for me personally I find hard to do with a mask I think maybe a shield hopefully would help with that and be a bit better for me um but just walking around a shop or sitting on a train or a bus and putting something over your face it's really I don't understand when it comes to that level of uncomfortability you're really not doing a lot and there are people that are wearing them for over 12 hours a day 
and no complaints from them. They probably do complain inside of their head because they understand that this is a bit uncomfortable, but I will take it off eventually. One, two, it's not that deep if it means someone else won't die. It's really that straightforward. The other thing I hear is that it's a conspiracy and that, that it's, it's you know, we, we have the freedom to do what we want and, and like, you know, wearing a mask has forced us to do stuff that's against our freedom. Look, sweetie, why don't you just go out naked then? Why don't you just leave your house naked? If you think if you think the government is doing this, why don't you just leave your house naked? What stops you from leaving your house naked? Because it's illegal. I mean, I feel like there should be more legal ramifications for people that don't wear masks. But, like, the people that say, oh, I don't have to be forced to wear masks, it's my American right and freedom or my UK civil liberties, whatever, whatever. Okay, why don't you just go out naked then? I really don't understand because it's like, uh, well, who told you that yes, wear clothes? Did you just wake up and want to wear clothes? Why don't you be naked? Your birthday suit, just your skin. Feel free, live free. You don't want to do that, do you? You don't want to work out with your stinky bum bum out onto the road naked. So why can't you just wear a mask? It is literally that, just as you, people, I mean, there's some people out there that wear underwear, but that's it for you. Just like you need to wear underwear, you need to wear clothes because it's against the law to be walking around without any clothes because it's, it's, it's not decent for the people that are around and it's just not nice and also clothes protects you and all these things like that. Wear a mask. It's the same thing. It protects from coronavirus. It protects others around you and it's a decent thing to do and the human human thing to do and just the thing that you need to do. It's really that simple. Now, there are some people that see people wearing a mask and go and cough in their face. Listen, if people... People are evil. This world is really evil. I'm going to be very specific because a lot of white people that are really being evil right now and they have nothing going on. They have nothing else in their lives going on right now. They have nothing else to be doing or talking about. The lockdown has kept them bored and indoors and, you know, the Karens are out now that you're allowed to be in the shops again, things like that. And so they have nothing else going on. They have no sort of struggle or thing that needs to fight against. I mean, they do. Capitalism, patriarchy, there's all these actual real-life issues. The refugee crisis. There's so many real-life issues. Racism that it can be fighting against instead they choose one that is not actually a struggle that doesn't actually benefit or is not a fight worth fighting they waste their time they waste everybody's time fighting for nothing fighting for nonsense fighting for the fact they can't they don't want to wear a cloth on their face stay at home then stay at home it really pisses me off it really does because i just i i I think people make such a big deal out of it. It's like, is it just because you don't have anything better to do? Is that what it is? It's like, you're so bored at home, there's nothing else going on, you think, oh, I guess I could do this. This will, this will pass the time. This will waste the time. Especially those Karens that are coming into the shops and shouting at these poor retail workers. You will never see the pearly gates. Do you understand? I didn't, that, I didn't make that up, by the way. That was someone that I watch called... I'll put their name in the... I'll put their channel in the description box. It's so true. All these people that are so evil and are being so selfish will never see the pearly gates. It's impossible. All you Karens, all you uh, All Lives Matter people, all you anti-maskers will never, ever, ever see the pearly gates. It's impossible because the evil you are committing right now and the selfishness that you are committing right now and the way that you're navigating the world in such a horrible way inflicting violence inflicting pain inflicting disease on people for what for what but you did this for what why not why why not <laughs> why though if you don't want to wear the mask stay at home it's really that simple and it's really funny because a couple of months ago i uploaded should we, should we be more worried like, at the beginning of the lockdown and i might like re-watch that video and, and maybe react to it or just re-watch it and reflect on that personally yes i should have been more worried i didn't know the world was this stupid i didn't know there were people in this world that like, i knew people were dumb like kind of not smart or like classically like you know they don't like, read books or whatever that's you know, prerogative but it's essential public health information and lack of belief or maintaining of be, like being in reality that really shocks me and it's like i completely understand distrust in the government and the systems that make you feel like you're being lied to that make you think you are feel disenfranchised and i completely get that but you're focusing the energy on the wrong thing i'm telling you it's not the masks that the government is trying to it's not the masks that are the conspiracy theories to be focusing on and fighting against it's racism it's, it's systematic oppression it's the way different 
class and wealth gap in society. It's the refugee crisis. It's, it's so many things. Focus your energy on those things. Collectively, focus your energy on all those things. You, the results as a society will be much better. What you think you're fighting, the fight you think you're fighting is not the fight you need to be fighting. It's the fight. I think it comes from a place of like, you know, frustration with the way society is and if and if this feels like a small thing and a small but doable thing that you can fight for and kind of push through with and it's like no pick the big fights and fight them we the more people the better and it's like i know it feels it may feel scary to pick those big fights to fight but fight those big fights don't pick stuff like masks to fight the things that we need right now to protect people like oh man i mean the point i'm saying is please wear a mask and if at any point you don't feel like wearing a mask please stay at home just stay at home it's completely fine to stay at home if you don't want to wear a mask but don't go out into confined spaces and refuse to wear a mask and it's the people that know those are the rules if you're like you went somewhere like, I don't think you need to wear a mask and you're you around and you need to wear a mask. Being a bit like, oh crap, I forgot my mask, that's a bit annoying. I'll just buy one in like the corner shop or whatever. That's a different level of, oh, that's a bit frustrating. Not, you come purposefully to somewhere, you know that you need to wear a mask, you're not wearing a mask. What is wrong in here? What's happening in here? What's happening? What's going on at home? Hmm? Are there some family issues? Some psychological issues? Because it really doesn't make any sense to me. It really doesn't make any sense. What you need to understand is that what you're doing is evil and it's selfish and it's killing people. And I think that's what allows them to campaign and do all this shouting and say all these things is that they don't think they're harming anyone. In fact, they feel like they're fighting the good fight to help people. You're not. You're hurting people. And you need to, and I think if you were to say that to them, they'll be like, no, we're not. And that denial is what helps them continue. Because if they actually sat down and beat the fact that they are harming people by doing what they're doing, I don't know if they're, they may, because they may be just evil, but I don't know if they'll continue if they actually deep the fact that they, if someone said you are directly linked to the murder of this person, I don't know if they'll still be singing the same tune. I really don't. Anyway, wear a mask. I got some from Bowdoin. I've got some from Etsy, you know, support some local uh, makers. So I've got some from Etsy, I've got some from Bowdoin. They do like a three pack for £20. Wolford do a cute one. I haven't got that one, but there's so many places doing it now. It is hard. I mean, my ears are quite far back, so finding a mask that um, fits on my ears is really difficult. I haven't found one yet, but I use ear savers. So it's like this like, plastic clip that goes on the back of your head that you can put your masks, clip them to, so that it takes the pressure off your ears. And for me, that's really helpful because because when it goes on my ears, it like, folds it down, which really hurts. So so get an ear saver, they're like 99p that you can use to wear your mask. I'm trying to think anything else that was helpful. I find the masks that have the little metal, the best so example, my Bowdoin mask has a little metal, piece of metal thing that you can like flex over the nose, which is really nice. I find that really helpful. Yeah, just keep buying different masks and seeing what material works for you. I don't really like a linen mask. I don't like that material on my face. And just wear a mask, get an ear saver if it hurts your ear. If you don't want to wear a mask, stay at home. Stop fighting this fight, people. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you're wondering why I look so glammed up. Like I said, I did a video. Um, I don't know if I said this, actually. Anyway, if you're wondering why I look so glammed up, it's not just for this video. It's because I recreated the Megan Thee Stallion makeup tutorial that was uploaded recently. So this is my attempt at it. I think it came out really good. If you want to watch that, I have a little note here. And if it's not there, just go click on the little face of mine down there. That's my channel, and you'll see the video there. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got the key messages out there. Please spread the word of please wear a mask. It's the right thing to do and stop fighting this stupid fight. Fight the better fights of injustices that are actually affecting you. Cool. Love you loads. Bye.